Hey guys, it's Exa, and welcome back to my channel. I would like to start off this video by showing off my snazzy, new-to-me Balenciaga knife boots. I absolutely adore the shape of these, and they are so comfy and hot pink. And believe it or not, I happen to have a matching hot pink and black leather jacket. So now I'm feeling badass and classy and matchy-matchy. But the one thing I am missing is a purse. I recently got into having every outfit I wear have a matching handbag, and this one, I don't have that. I also really love it when the brand of my shoes matches the brand of my bag or my outfit in some other way. Unfortunately, although I did snag the V-Knife boots for a really great deal, I cannot afford a Balenciaga hot pink bag. Since I'm always doing funky craft projects and lately have gotten into sharing some of my designer do secrets with you, I figured I would bring you guys along to turn a boring pink bag into a Balenciaga branded one that no one walking down the street will ever know isn't authentic. Well guys, here's the bag I'm going to use. As you can see, the color matches my boots and it's the same shape and style and color as this authentic Balenciaga bag that you see over on the left. So all we are going to do for this project is stencil the brand right across the side here. Let's get started. The first thing we will need is a dome-shaped top handle bag. I got this one from Target and I believe it was $30, but I'm sure you can find a similar bag from any place that you normally shop or on Amazon. And you will also need some alphabet stencils. I found that the Helvetica font um, looks most similar to the Balenciaga font on the bag I'm trying to replicate, and I ended up getting a set with 3 quarter inch and 1 inch tall letters, and then went back and compared to figure out which size would work best for my project. Like for all my projects, I will be using Angelus acrylic leather paints for this project, and I chose the flat black. Um, I would recommend going with either a flat or a satin paint for this, because if you go with a gloss, it's not going to look that like it was printed on the bag the same way as the authentic ones are. The last few odds and ends you'll need are a paper and pen to test your stencil, a sharpie for transferring it onto your bag, and some tape to help make sure that you have a straight line across where you're going to stencil on your letters. So the first thing I'm going to do is place my tape across the bag to get a nice straight line for where I'm going to place my letters. Now I am using washi tape for this, but you could also use some any kind of like painter's tape. I wouldn't recommend using something super sticky though, because it might leave residue on your bag. And make sure that you are putting the tape at the same point across the bag on both sides. So as I mentioned earlier, I did get two different size letters because I wasn't sure which size would be most appropriate for the bag that I selected. So I'm just going to practice on paper, stenciling out the words and figuring out what size letters and what spacing I want to look most similar to the authentic Balenciaga print. I've printed out my two sizes, I'm just going to place them on my bag to compare which one will be the best fit. As you look at the authentic ones, you can see that the letters do start to wrap around the sides. So for me, I'm going to go with the bigger font. So in order to put my stencil onto the bag, I do want to make sure it's centered. So I'm actually just going to fold my template in half. And for me, it works out perfectly that the center is right in between the N and the C. So that makes it super easy for me. But you do want to start with whatever letter or letters fall in the center. So I'm going to find the center of the bag and then place my N right along the left side of center and trace him with my Sharpie onto my bag. So once I'm done with the N, I can go ahead and move over and put the E right next to it. Again, I'm using that tape line across the bottom as a guide for the bottom of each letter to make sure that they will all be straight next to each other when I do this. It's also a good idea to reference back to your template to make sure that you're getting their spacing the same as you wanted it to come out like. 
So as I'm tracing the A, you can see that there's kind of a separation between the letters just because of how the stencil is made so that way the middle piece doesn't disappear. And I'm just going to connect those together with my Sharpie to make sure that I'm completely filling in the gaps between letters on the B and the A because that is how the actual font looks on the Balenciaga bag. Make sure you're taking your time with this step because if you do get any sharpie lines outside of your stencil placement it is going to show up on the bag. But don't worry about any scritchy scratchy marks on the inside of the letters because we will be filling them in completely with the black paint. And now you have your stencil perfectly transferred onto your bag. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and peel off your tape line, and you should have a nice, even row of letters all the way across, so that way it looks like it was actually printed onto the bag by a machine, and not by hand. And the last step is going to be to use our black paint to paint in and fill in all of the letters. I would recommend using a really fine paintbrush like the one I have here for this because you do want to be super precise and make sure that you're not going to bleed any of the letters out beyond the edge of where your stencil was placed. So this part of the video is actual speed of me painting. Just so you can see, I am being very careful and precise with my movements on this to make sure that it is being filled in nicely and I'm not going to smudge outside of the lines. Also you'll notice that I'm going back and forth to pick up more paint from the pot as I'm going because I don't want to have too much paint on it at one time because that means it can bleed more. So this is going at a kind of fast speed on the video, just so that way I'm not sitting here painting in front of you for 25 minutes, but I did go pretty slowly and carefully just to make sure that I'm completely filling in the letters and I'm not getting any smudges outside of them. So Angela's leather paints do work best in light thin coats so I'm just using a very tiny amount to fill in each of these letters and then I will go back in with a second coat later on for any spots that look like they're a bit lighter and you can see some of the pink showing through. We don't want to use too much paint because then it runs a risk of dripping and smudging outside of our nice neat letters. So don't worry if you did get a little bit of smudge of paint. You can wipe it up with a Q-tip with a little bit of water on it while the paint is still wet and it'll wipe right off and shouldn't stain any of the remaining pink. Also, if your Sharpie smudged a little bit like mine did here on the B, you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip as well and that will kind of lighten the Sharpie and take it off of the bag. Make sure you're not going to rub too much rubbing alcohol because it can fade the color of the bag underneath and we don't want to do that. Here is the finished bag and look, and I think it turned out rather wonderfully. Just super quick and easy to do, and I would definitely recommend getting a stencil instead of trying to freehand draw because it's just going to come out so much better with a stencil. 
Remember guys, there are other colors that you can do this with for the Balenciaga bags like these two pictured here. And also use your imagination. There's so many other designer branded bags that have type font on them that you can replicate with the correct stencil. So until next time, I hope your day is as beautiful as you are.